all right guys welcome back in this video we are going to be talking about ports you can think of ports as exact house or apartment numbers so ip addresses represent the city and the street name and the port number represents the exact house number you are living in so when a computer tries to connect or communicate with another computer it not only needs the ip address but the port as well so the next question is that how exactly do we find these port numbers on a computer if you are using windows it's pretty simple you just open up your command prompt and type in net start then minus a minus b and minus n but if you press enter right now it's not going to work because right now we don't have administrator privileges so we'll just press enter and as you can see it says the requested operation requires elevation so we are just going to close this command prompt and then we are going to type in cmd over here so it will show us the command prompt then we are going to right click on it and click on run as administrator click on yes and now we have elevated privileges so now we can type in net start minus a minus b and minus n and press enter and our huge list will pop up and all these ip addresses with ports are shown on my computer so for example there is a file called svhost.exe which is using this ip address with a port of 6771 now let's see some common ports on our computer and on the internet so this is a collection of some common port numbers and some common protocols that are used so for example http uses the port number of 80 ftp uses the port number of 20 if you're not understanding the port number concept, don't worry about it. I'm going to give you an example in like a minute or so and you're going to understand it better. So for right now, just understand that port is just an exact true number. It's not a street address like an IP address. And it has these places like for example, HTTP uses the 80 port and FTP uses the 20 port. And it's not written over here, but the HTTPS, that is the security protocol, uses the 443 port. If you want to find the full list, you can go to this link. I'll probably attach this link to this uh, video and something and you can find it over there. It's a very big list, but if you see this list, this is also enough. So now we are going to open up a website and check out how these ports exactly work. So for example, if you open up google.com, we are not typing any port number over here. Obviously we are behind the scenes typing in the IP address, but we are not typing in the port number anywhere. So what we'll do is because we have just learned that the port number of HTTP that is the web pages is 80. So if we go back to representation, you can see HTTP has port number of 80. Now we'll go back to Google and type in google.com and then we'll put a semicolon for a port and type in 80 and press enter. And as you can see, the Google websites open. But if we type in google.com and Make a semicolon, make a colon, not a semicolon, and type in 20. That is the port number of FTP, that is the file transfer protocol, FTP, that has a port number of 20. And if we press enter, it's not going to open up and it's going to say that the address is restricted. Press enter, this address is restricted and this address uses a network port which is normally used for purposes other than web browsing. Firefox has cancelled the request for your protection. So Google doesn't allow us to access this port, but it allows us to access the 80 port. So this is the usage of ports. So in this video, we have learned all the important aspects of ports. So this is pretty much it for this video. But in the next video, we are going to learn about sockets and how they are important in connecting two devices or two computers. I'll see you in the next video.